So we've been transferred out of the kingdom of darkness, conveyed in the kingdom of the Son of His love. We've been lifted up and seated at the right hand of God the Father in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We have matured in Him. We have um, taken the veil off of our faces and allowed the Spirit to work within us. And as we observe in the mirror, we see the glory of the Lord and we're being changed into that same image from glory to glory. And all these under, other wonderful scriptures that we've covered so far this week. Now we're in Revelation chapter 4. Yesterday I showed you an open door, showed you that it's for today. You can walk in this day today. Why? Because you've already been seated to the right hand of God the Father in heavenly places. You are already in there. It was already made, made available for you, yet while you were still sinners, it was already available. Now take your rightful position in there. And now look what happens. I want to show you now what happens when we get there. Verse 2. This is Revelation 4.2. Immediately I was in the Spirit. When you walk through that door, don't go walking in flesh because you won't understand it. But immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, the throne set in heaven. And one sat on the throne, and he, was, and, and he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardis stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne <coughs> in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were 24 thrones, and on the thrones I saw 24 elders sitting clothed in white robes, and they, they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices. Seven lamps of, the fi of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal, and in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes in front and in back, and the first living creature was like a lion, and the second creature was like a calf. The third creature was like a, uh, had a face like a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each having six wings, with full of uh, full of eyes around and within, and they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Let me read a little bit further. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him, who sit on the throne and worship him, who lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne. See the belt buckles we win all as cowboys? They ain't going to mean squat. We're going to cast them before the throne of God. And they're saying, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by uh, your will they exist and were created. Now that's chapter 4. I'm going to let you read chapter 5 for yourself. It's pretty much the same thing. It's another worship and praise uh, service. The thing that is, I want you to know, they spoke with loud voices and there's lightning and thunders and, and clashing and, and throwing of crowns and everything. It's not like church where we all sit there all quiet and everything. It's about time we mature, take the veil off of our eyes, step through the door and start worshiping God in spirit and in truth. Again, the door of reality, there it is, step through Jesus. See, not just what he's... Uh, he's doing in you now, but look what he did. That was all secure for you before you were even saved. We need to know our call. We need to know our election. Make, know it sure. We need to step into it and realize what Christ has done for us. He deserves our worship. And when we worship him, we worship him in spirit and in truth. We begin to take the veil off, see him for who he is. But listen, folks, it's not just see him for who he is, but see who we are in him. You are seated in him at the right hand of God the Father in heavenly places. You're part of this thing. Remember John 17, Jesus says, and Father, let them be one with you even as I am, or let them be one with me even as I am one with you that we might be one in each other. This is what God wants. Step through the door, but let's worship him in spirit and in truth, not based upon what you've, how you've worshiped, worshiped him in the past, not based upon how your grandma Lulu used to worship, 
But let's step in. Let's get vocal. Let's get excited. Let's recognize all that he has done for us and give him glory, honor, power, and dominion in Jesus' name. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. I love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.